Good morning, Harvest Time, and our friends on uh, out there on the internet. The Lord bless you. God is so good, and we're pressing into the kingdom of God. And this Wednesday, uh, April the 8th, uh, the, the Bible study that I have for you is Jesus Prayer of the Ages. And prayer is so pivotal in our uh, being prepared for everything that God is doing in our lives. And uh, I just, it, this is a fun testimony that, uh, actually it wasn't so fun, but um, I did have, uh, just on, on Monday, I got like a tooth infection on uh, on one of my crowns. You know, wow, I have a crown. And, uh, but uh, it was so painful, and it was just just throbbing, and I thank the Lord for my Christian dentist, and he took me in and put me on an antibiotic, but, um, and the pain is gone. Thank the Lord. Amen. But you know, that pain, that throbbing pain, it just, it just says, you know, this is, it just wants all your attention and, uh, you got to do everything you can to focus on, on prayer and healing, praying for others and, and doing what you need to do to be responsible. But you know, the pains of this world and thank God that Jesus is our healer. He's our source. He's our focus. So we can stay focused even in the midst of the pain and, and, you know, thank the Lord when he heals us and that's his promise of healing. Uh, but you know, Jesus, um, is going to the cross just in, in context. Um, we've been, you know, keeping you up to date with the messages, uh, you know, Monday, uh, Sunday, uh, it was uh, Passover, um, and then uh, Monday he rolled up his sleeves um, historically and cleansed the temple. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, this is when, in, in the Gospel of John, this is when, uh, you know, chapters 12 through 20 were written uh, about his life. And the, uh, what we're going to go over is his prayer in uh, John chapter 17. So let me read that to you. John chapter 17, verses 1 through 8 says, Jesus spoke these words and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you. And as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. And I have manifested your name to your men whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. And now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came forth from you and they have believed that you sent me i pray for them and i and uh, so listen jesus prayed for himself and then he prayed for his disciples and then he prayed for all believers in john chapter 17 now he knew he was going to the cross so whether he was teaching all of this on Tuesday and Wednesday and then Thursday would have been, you know, all of his apostles themselves would have been in preparation of the uh, of the Passover. And uh, and so that was going to be on Friday. Um, and, and that's when Jesus would be on the cross. And Jesus was concerned about strengthening himself. And then he was concerned and praying for, but confident in his prayers for his disciples, and then praying for all believers, including you and I, of, of all the ages. And, you know, during this time of uh, the coronavirus, of course, it's taking all of our attention. You go out shopping, you can't get away from it. Uh, people are wearing masks, people are concerned. Um, it's in the news, it's in the conversations. 
but the the greatest plague of humanity is is sin and disobedience and and not being prepared and we're going to get through this coronavirus and uh and like i've been sharing with you let's pray um uh, you know that supernatural power is going to come on resurrection sunday on the 12th of april and uh and and it in this curse and this plague and this illness is going to be healed and it's going to start to diminish and uh, and go down to nothing in our land and so that we can get back to church we can get back to work uh, but in this time though we're focused on jesus he's going to the cross he's confident he's prayerful he's in you know in in reverence He's not shying away from his pain or, or commitment. He wants to go to the cross. He wants to see the glory. He wants people to be saved. He wants people to be healed. And this needs to be our passion too. I, I believe that, that, that uh, these are the last days. And you know, you, you can only say it. It's that his hour had come. It says in, in 17.1, to glorify his name. We have to see that we are living in the last of the last days. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we're going to go through pain. I went through some pain. But we've got to press through our pain. And we've got to find the victory in Jesus and declare Jesus' love to people. And, 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 and people need to repent repent and turn from their selfish ways. I believe this is a, a deep time of reflection for America. And, and, and then we're going towards Easter. Um, I guess the, the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, and we saw that church when we were there in late January, that church had never, ever been closed since the 1400s. And that's when the Muslims had taken over, you know, Constantinople, and and uh, and so that church was shut down for a, for a short time. But that was the only time that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was shut down. And really, this this recent time is the only time in American history, or really world history, that uh, the churches of the world have been shut down for a virus that we're going to get through. And it's very serious, uh, but but God is speaking to us. He wants us to go deeper in prayer, work through our own pain, reflect on Jesus and his confidence. And then his resolve is that he wants men and women, you know, children. He wants all people saved and secure and, and ready for these last days. And, you know, if you don't have a, 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 an understanding of the rapture of the church, uh, I want to encourage you, watch those movies with Kirk Cameron on the Left Behind series. I think those are very good, and uh, but very biblical and uh, very important to understand the times that we're living in. We should be prepared through prayer. We will be prepared. We need to be focused on winning the lost. You know, another good movie, uh, we're going to watch it with our family, is The Passion of the Christ. And it really shows by Mel Gibson the, what Jesus went through. It's dynamic. And it really brings us to the, you know, to a brokenness within ourselves. Thank you, God, for coming for me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for being confident in prayer and going with all you know, all of Christ's will and volition was to go to the cross so that you and I could be saved. Amen. Let's be saved. Let's be set free. Let's let's get beyond ourselves and, and get into the glory of God, the joy of God, and spread the good news because Jesus is coming again. Amen. And he's got you. He's got you in the palm of his hands and nobody can snatch you or, or myself away from him, his love. God bless you. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Amen.